everybody and welcome from a very wet, windy and miserable Clannacilty here this morning. I think the timing of this webinar is perfect as we have uh, Jo Brown here this morning to cheer us up with her inspirational story. I know there's a lot of doom and gloom around at the moment and uh, certainly the weather isn't helping with that either. And uh, so really looking forward to hearing Jo's story today. Uh, so as you all know, we are Employ Mom and Employ Flex and we've been doing webinars all through um, COVID. And um, we started having these Zoom side chats with um, women who have you know, made a pivot in their careers. Uh, we talk to a lot of candidates every day and um, they tell us about how they're not happy at their, in their position or they want to change their careers and they don't have the, the guts to do it or they, they don't know how to go about it. So in the past, we've spoken to Andrea Mara who pivoted in her career to become a publisher. And we also spoke to Keila from Danone House, who moved from Dublin to West Cork and set up a beautiful luxury guest house in West Cork. And today we have Jo Brown, who's going to tell us her story about, um, I suppose, moving her side hustle onto a thriving business and is now one of um, Ireland's best known cult beauty brands. Um, I myself was gifted a, a diffuser from a good friend of mine, Karina Ryan. Um, there about a year ago, out of the blue, she sent me this uh, beautiful diffuser. And you know what, it has been just lovely to have it all through lockdown. Um, I have it here in my office, I bring it into my sitting room in the evening, and um, I got the Christmas um, aroma for Christmas as well. Everybody who came into the house, but well, there weren't many people because it was lockdown, but everybody commented on how lovely it was. And her facial balms as well, I'm totally addicted and her oils as well, everything, everything in her range is just fantastic. And she says in her website, um, I aim to create sustainable and lifestyle products that work immensely well, feel and smell incredible and are affordable. And that is actually true about her products. They're amazing and they're really affordable and they're Irish. So listen, I'm really, really excited to, to chat with Jo this morning. And um, so listen, Jo, introduce yourself take us back to where you are before joe brown ireland started yeah so um i hope you can hear me okay perfect yeah yeah so um i suppose i i worked in so many different jobs i had probably 26 different jobs um my last job was uh the civil service and i suppose i just was never a nine to five person i'm not a morning person i'm a night owl um and i I loved perfume, but I love solid perfume. Um, I never liked spray perfume. I always found it too overpowering and just too much. So in 2014, I just couldn't source solid perfume anymore. I was actually getting it in from Australia. And um, I was a reflexologist as well at that time. And I just decided, oh God, sure, I could make myself one. So that was 2014. And then I just kind of really researched, done loads of research. Uh, research for two years and we launched Joe Brown in 2016. Um, so those two years of research were very, very hard. I did an aromatherapy course online. Um, I mixed and matched, I blended, I did everything. But the big thing was the packaging. Um, I just wanted something different. And then about a year into research, I spotted bamboo. And I said, imagine if I could just put something into a bamboo container, wouldn't that be so different? Um, because I believe you'll buy something for the packaging first. Um, you'll buy something that's nice on the shelf. And uh, so, yeah, we launched three female solid perfumes in June of 2016. Um, and shortly after that, we launched, we launched the two male clones. Um, everything, I, I'd done everything. I cold called, I did everything. I emailed every buyer, I'd say, in Ireland, in the world. And it wasn't until the, uh, the brand was six months old that I went to Showcase in Dublin. So Showcase is a big show in Dublin every January. And people from all over the world come to Dublin to buy Irish products. And I won the overall gift category that day. So wow. it was amazing. I was upstairs in this little stand, um, two metres by two metres. And then you had huge, huge people downstairs with like their 10 metres by 10 metres. And I won the overall gift category. So that's when Kilkenny took me on. I appeared on Nationwide that week as well. And um, the company just went bananas after that. Just really wow. went bananas after that. Wow, amazing. Yeah, yeah. And like a solid perfume. I mean, that's kind of risky. I mean, it, like, was there anybody doing it in Ireland before that? Or Nobody. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, people have people have been on my tails and, and 
have copied me, but hey, <laughs> you're always going to get that. Yes, yeah, that's okay. I'm. I sometimes I do be honoured. That's the way yeah. to look at that. Um, and it just opens the market and makes you. Do you know what? It makes you more determined. Mm, yeah, because then you isn't isn't, a, isn't the worst thing. Yeah, no, it's never a bad thing because it it wakes you up a bit and it and it goes, what will I do next? So I got into all these lovely shops, but the thing was, I suppose I didn't have enough shelf space. So my little stand was getting pushed and pushed. So anytime, I suppose, a distributor had come in, they'd always squash in a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to have someone on the road to make sure nobody was squashing in my brand. So that was costly. But that's when we started, OK, we need to launch more products. So that's when we launched our cleansing balm. So that okay. won loads of awards and our bamboo face wash. So I develop everything here. We don't have a cosmetic. That's very important. And we hand make and hand pour everything here in Hackistan and Carlo. Um, believe me, it took a hundred attempts just to make the bam, just to get it right. Yeah. But it now probably is our best seller. Oh yeah, but it, it is lovely though. Like it just yeah. leaves your skin. So that's so, our. Um, that's our so bam. Soft. Yeah, so we don't um, have a box or anything because the packaging is so nice. Um, yeah. So it's just a bamboo, bamboo tub. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it is lovely. Yeah. But like, how did you like? So it was just trial and error then, was it? You know, oh, like, absolutely. All trial and products. error. Yeah. 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 So what you do, you see, I, I love cleansing BAM anyway. So mm-hmm. literally, if you're going to trial a new product, you'll always look at your comp- competition first. You'll buy in as many BAMs from all over the world. You'll right. look at and analyze their ingredients. Then you'll research and see what what you can you add or what can you take away or what can make your product more special than anyone else's mm-hmm. out there. So we added organic camellia oil. Mm-hmm. So nobody else was using that at the time. So it's, uh, it's kind of called the, the queen of fruits. It's um, all about hydrating and healing the skin. Mm-hmm. But we also made, I made a signature scent for the BAM. Um, so it's eight different essential oils and people were drawn to the scent to that. So that actually is in our body scrub, our body oil, our facial serum, our cleansing balm. And I suppose the reason I did launch the diffuser was because people were saying that scent is so nice mm-hmm. if I could just smell it every day. So we launched our bamboo diffuser, which is here. And our best seller is our signature blend for the diffuser. Yeah. So that took six months to develop. So it's eight different essential oils blended together. So that's my, my secret oil. <laughs> no, no, but well, it is lovely. And like, thank I, you. I, I see people commenting on your website and on your social media saying it's like being in a spa when you yeah. smell that, you know, you feel as if you're being nourished and loved almost. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's all about like what's in the, I suppose the signature blend is, is all about calming the mind and relaxing the mind. But also then essential oils have another benefit. They're like each essential oil is, is a good, it's good for your skin. Like there's one for... Uh, inflammation there's one for reducing wrinkles there's one for brightening your skin so essential oils plays two part one for the mind and one for the skin mm. so that's really important to get that right as well yeah and so important at the moment as well you know that we we need these little treats for ourselves and yeah absolutely looking after ourselves a little yeah. bit more like yeah yeah because we're spending so much time indoors and so was this all on the kitchen table at this stage Joe? yeah, or was, yeah <laughs> absolutely yeah. i had a new baby at the time yeah so, um, and my husband had a pool table in the front room. So we put a board over the pool table and I used to pour. Saturday morning was when I used to pour because everybody else was in bed. Yeah. And yeah. We poured hundreds, hundreds oh. of perfume on that pool table. Yeah. Um, we poured them. We used to put them all out in rows like they're like little lip balm tubes for all the world and you're pouring with a jug. So then we came up with an idea. I wonder if someone would make us um, kind of a holder because it wasn't a standard size lip balm tube, so you couldn't buy one. So the engineering company down the road made us one. So then we could pour 50 at a time. Right. So, I mean, we've done everything. I could write a book at this stage. Absolutely. And then we built a little shed. So now we have, we have three premises at the moment, three. So we're going to build it again, actually. So okay, so, so you moved the kitchen table out to the shed on the back garden, is it? Yeah, and then we built, and then we built again. Yeah. Um, so it's all about like a warehouse space at this stage like so for instance there's 210 parcels came in this week alone boxes okay uh, because you have to be ahead of packaging mm-hmm. um, so that's 210 boxes you have to store somewhere um, and it's just in case you always have to have three or four thousand extra bottles of everything okay um, because if an order comes in you need to be able to just fulfill it yeah yeah, um, yeah. So we'll build again. Uh, the reason we'll build again is because uh, we launched our bamboo bedding. 
So we launched a bamboo uh, pillowcase two years ago. So it's super, super soft. Um, it's breathable. It keeps you cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. So mm -hmm. that was such a success. We launched a whole bamboo bedding range. Mm -hmm. um, so that's in Foxford, it's in Meadows and Burn, it's in Kilkenny. But what we're hoping to do this year is really push it out, like really, really push it out. Mm -hmm. uh, because and again, we're perfect time. timing for that as well as we're all yeah, you all, know, like, all indoors and everyone's yeah, spending yeah. money on their yeah. bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going on any holidays this year, like so we'll be treating ourselves. Treat ourselves. Treat Absolutely. So we're the first of the kind. So it's four hundred treads. So it's the first of its kind in Ireland. Okay. So it's um yeah, it's really good. Okay. Very good. And um, at the beginning of it all, did you get any help from your local enterprise office or from yeah. anybody or, or were, you know, like, did, had you been in business before? Like, did, how did you manage no. all that? You know, like, because there's so many things to do when you're in business on your own. You've got the marketing, the sales, the accounting, the bookkeeping, you yeah. know, how did no, you manage all that? No, I was just determined. Um, mm -hmm. I was always determined I was in school. I suppose I never, I was always bored in school. <laughs> bored at all the jobs I had um my mom and dad my dad works for himself so he's like okay. really, you know he's into business and he could always see how you could make money and um, I did promise myself sitting in school one day that I'm going to be known for something I'm going to be famous for something um and I'm going to run my own business and yeah it took me till I was 40 but I did it <laughs> yeah so, yeah you know and, and what what um encouraged you to make the leap I mean did you have a job did you have to give up a job or did you uh yeah. just, just you, you so you gave up a good pensionable job as such like to to take the leap into this yeah I gave up the civil service after three years I just didn't yeah. it never motivated me yeah, yeah I never yeah. knew what I was even supposed to be doing every day <laughs> that is the truth <laughs> um it was boring yeah. um I hated it um, and then I said I'd become a reflexologist so I love doing that I have to say mm. um, but then you had people call into your house continuously and I'm, I'm you know and that didn't work either you mm -hmm. know yeah. Um, yeah so yeah so yeah I always said I was going to find something in some niche but like I could google till three or three or four o'clock every morning okay you're you know, continuously researching you're and... continuously researching so mm -hmm. like even my next product now we bought in like ingredients from all over the world so I'm mixing out there every night and seeing okay. what I can create or but it has to be something different that's really important for us so like our serum has elderberry and bamboo extract so it's different mm. you know yeah, everything yeah, has yeah. to be different that we launch because I don't want to be in competition with anybody and everything has to be unique mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah. I suppose like, you know, when you have your own business like that, it's, you know, it's a labor of love, isn't it? You, you don't mind working on it as such, really, you know. Yeah, well, I suppose, yeah, when you work for yourself, you're working, uh, I always say, well, you can choose your hours, but you're working twice as many hours. I know, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, but, it, but it doesn't feel like work, does it? You know, like, because it's, it's your baby as such, really, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it doesn't feel like work. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. And it's how far, I suppose at the start, you just wanted to get a wage. But yeah. then you get to the point where you just see how far you can bring the business. Mm -hmm. You know, you get more, you know, you just want to see how far can you can you blow it. Like, I mean, Ireland is such a small place. Yeah. Um, now, we do export um, into America and South Korea would be our biggest market at the moment. Okay. So that took two years to open the South Korean market. Um, very strict on testing and everything. So each product is tested, but it takes six months again. Um, but yeah, we're doing really well in South Korea. So that's our big market at the moment. Wow. And how, how does one even find a market in South Korea? Did, did you get the help from Enterprise Ireland? No, or, no, I've know? never, I've never got help from Enterprise Ireland. Okay. Um, I've asked when I, at the start, but I wasn't big enough and no, I just do it all myself. Um, yeah. they had emailed me seeing my products in the Kilkenny shop in Dublin and they said they'd love the idea of just bringing that into South Korea. Now, that was nearly three years ago. So it's taken that length to build the yeah. relationship. And um, we're actually doing another shipment over there on Monday. And um, so they're taking the BAM, they're taking the bamboo remover pads and they're taking the facial serum. Wow. Um, and they'll take the diffuser now as well. OK, so, right. like it's, it's step by step each time. But um, it's like there's 50 million people that live in South Korea. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, you know. Why it's not? a massive market, yeah, it's yeah. A massive market. Like Ten yeah. times the size of Ireland, really. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I presume we have sites on other global markets, have you? 
Yeah, we're we're opening a new, we're going on to a new website for America now at the moment, a new wholesale website. Um, we're in um, a lovely uh, website called Ecoverb. So that's based in Austria. So we do really, really well on that. So that um, they send products all over Europe. So that opens more markets for us as well. We're looking at Spain now as well at the moment. We've left the UK out. We've never really launched in the UK, but we're just going to leave the UK now, maybe for another year till things calm down a little bit more. Yeah. You know, Probably good move. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. And um, would you have any advice for people now? Actually, if people um, just let people know if you want to ask um, Joe any questions. Oh, yeah. Ask me questions, please. Yeah. We've, there's questions and answers for you to hover over the bottom there. There's questions okay. questions there, you can pop them in there and we'll answer them at the end of, of this. Will I be able to see them uh, this side? You can see them, yeah. Yeah, we will open them up at the end of our of our chat here. Okay, um, perfect. So, um, so would you have any advice then for people like, because like it really kind of started off as a bit of a side hustle for you with the solid perfume, it? And you know, now you're, I presume you're employing people and you have premises. Yeah. Are your yeah. whole family in, involved in the business? Everybody's involved. Everybody gets a job or gets yeah. something when they come over, like yeah. um, putting soap into parcels or ironing the eye masks or filling the body aisle. So you, people tend yeah. not to call over because they'll get a job if they call over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, um, like I have three kids, so I, I try and get them involved as well, whether it's putting labels on or just doing something yeah. um, as well. But uh, yeah, no, we're really busy. So it's really, really good. Yeah. So, but in fairness, we're working out till 12 o'clock every night. So that's, mm. that's seven days a week. Um, now we did go to the local enterprise at the start. I went in with this tiny little tube mm. and um, in fairness, it didn't laugh at me. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so when to start it off with this tiny little thing, but I think that's the key. You need to start off with something Mm. one product and get that one product right and then you can launch more stuff after that but it's getting that unique thing right yeah yeah you know like i'm a mother of three kids um you know it's all about determination and researching mm. Mm. and if you're determined enough you'll succeed that's the way i the way i look at it yeah you know? that, that's funny you because know, we spoke to andrea mara there a couple of weeks ago she's office mom i don't know whether you've heard of her she she changed her career from a, um, a financier to writing books, writing fiction. And we asked her what her superpower was. And she said it was just discipline and determination. Determination. You know, you know, it's exactly what you were yeah. saying here today. You yeah. know, So I suppose if you have an idea and you really believe in it. Yeah, you know, go that, for it. That's, that's yeah. it really, isn't it? Yeah, you know? but I remember going around to shows like and showing people like in shows that I wish I could go to. And now I'm at all those shows yeah, yeah. and saying, oh, look, at I, I'm thinking of launching this. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I got so many different feedback. And then some people like men, men were fascinated by it. Okay. I think mm. because of the mechanics of it all and it right, was a little yeah, tube yeah. with a perfume inside of it. And, you know, it was. Um, Very different yeah. for Ireland. You know, yeah, it was different. And I think the bamboo packaging obviously is completely mm -hmm. different. But that's it. If you're gonna launch, you're gonna launch something that's completely looks different. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. um and Google, research, research, research. Mm. You know, that's, that's but you also have to have a lot of neck though as well, Joe. I mean, you have to, you know, to go there with your little tube and you know, yeah. Uh, oh, you know. I, believe me, I was shaking. Yeah. I still you shake going into yeah, I still shake doing stuff. Like yeah. I believe even doing a speech or anything like I, I'll be so nervous beforehand, but yeah. I think that's your adrenaline coming out. And then sure. I went live on the radio the other morning and I just thought, am I going to do this or not? <laughs> no, yeah. but, but, but once you start and you have, but what I find if I'm doing something like that, mm -hmm. I write seven, seven pints in front of me. I write seven little short sentences. And matter what I'm asked, not today now, obviously, because it's more relaxing, yeah. especially for a live radio, you'll have seven pints. And no matter what they ask you, you will pick out one of those seven pints. Yeah. yeah. You can turn around people's questions very easily. Absolutely. You no. Know? Yeah. Yeah. And once you have those seven pints, it doesn't matter. One of them are going to answer any question. And you know what? You don't have to answer the question he's actually asking you either. Yeah. You can turn around anything the way you want it to be. Um, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, and I got yeah. a bit of um, training on um, speaking on radio as well, and that's exactly what I was told as well. Right now. Oh, well, well, I, I, I just oh, made that up what, myself. No matter what they ask. 
No matter what you ask, yeah, I made that up myself, I think. Well, I did make it up myself because no matter what they asked, there'll be always that answer there for you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. by the time I finished doing the interview, I had covered those seven points and that's it. Because that's what I wanted to get across. It was my yeah. time on the radio and I needed to get all those points across. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've I'd... done mad things as well. Like, I mean, Go on. I, I went before I even launched, I went to an event in Port Leash. I heard Colin McLaughlin. He's uh, the buyer for Dubai Airport and he's Irish. And um, I bought two solid clones with me and the security guards, nobody had let me near him. Like all day I was following him around. But when he was leaving, I ran out the door after him, put the two solid clones in his pocket. No way. And ran. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I've done mad stuff. Like, I mean, Kilkenny as well at Showcase. I mean, they wanted to take me on, but at that time I had a plastic stand and they said, look, we'll take you on if you do a bamboo stand. And I didn't know who they were. I didn't have a notion. And yeah. someone said, Joanne, that's Kilkenny shops. And I remember on the balcony in the RDS running the whole way around and going, yeah, I'll do. I'll have one with you next week. And I did have one with them next the following week. Yeah, yeah. Found someone in Ireland with bamboo to make me one. Wow. Um, so, yeah, yeah, you have to take those. Yeah. You have you to have take, to those take the opportunity to yeah. seize them like when they come yeah. back. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And if you, you know, if somebody asks you to do something, you say yes and you figure it out afterwards. Absolutely. That's, you know? yeah, that's yeah. My, my saying. Yeah. We've yeah. also, I've often been asked to do like, can you do 4,000 bottles or something by next week? I go, yeah, no problem. And then I cry and go, how am I going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Call in everyone, you know. Uh, yeah. But sure, because you have to say yes and then oh, worry Jesus. about it afterwards. I'm yeah. a total advocate for that. Yeah. 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 And um, how has lockdown affected your business now, Joe? Has it been. Oh. Um, oh, we've 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 tenfold our profits. Um, really have. What we did was, I suppose, in the first lockdown, there was a, a shortage of hand sanitizer. Okay. So we said, here, let's make it very very quickly. Now we did it very quick, but we made it mm. different. We did sixty five percent alcohol, but we added aloe vera. We added pro vitamin B five. So at that stage, no, you couldn't get hand sanitizer everywhere. Yeah. So we were driving to Cork to the Blarney Warehouse, to the Kilkenny Warehouse. We were supplying them and keeping their website going. Okay. We were making like two or 3,000 bottles a day uh, by hand. So we, uh, we actually bought a pouring machine. So it was day and night, day and night. But the thing about with my website just went bananas, but I was taking advantage of that. I was sending out cleansing balm samples for everybody that was going to be buying uh, fresh hands. So from there, then we were getting sales in for the cleansing balm. Mm. So to keep the interest going, then we launched uh, the body oil, which is the body oil. So we launched our lovely body oil. So it's oh, really I love it. Yeah. And then we launched our body scrub. So this was all to keep interest because we had the clients there on the website. So this was to keep interest in everything. And from there, then we launched our bamboo eye mask, which is um, beautiful. Uh, last year, we launched, I think, six products. For 2020 wow. we launched our bamboo remover pads so there's no need for cotton wool anymore once used you put them back into the bag and throw them in the washing machine so they are good because we were going through so many cotton wool pads in this house yeah. um so yeah so we're launching a new website next week so that's going to be huge for us it's after taking six months eight, uh, nearly a year to get it right uh, but i wanted it to be right it's really nice and i'm excited so i think we're launching it monday or tuesday um so that's taken time for photography and just getting everything right on it, I suppose, spelling mistakes. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. That, when building when a website back, is a painful process. <laughs> yeah. When I look back at the old website, like I, I, I nearly cringe because there's like yeah. so, there's so many mistakes on it. But you're joking, it didn't matter. We were selling. So it yeah. worked for what I did, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, that's fantastic to hear a success story coming out of, of COVID anyway. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people can buy your products in on your website. Your, yeah. well, the brand new yeah. one from next week, and uh, yeah. and really that's the main place at the moment, is it? Because we can't go anywhere. Well, yeah. you you have the Foxford web, website, you have the Kilkenny website, the Meadows and Burns. Um, like we're in 120 stores in Ireland, okay. so um, so we're we're in a few pharmacies as well. Um, now that's only new to us, but we took pharmacies on because they were they were opened. Okay, yeah, yeah. Of so course. actually, we're still doing we're still doing pretty okay. Like most people have a website now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, most of our shops. So we're happy. Yeah. We're happy with sales. Mm -hmm. you know? And as regards your your brand, then the Joe Brown brand, um, 
how did you build that up to where it is now? Like, the, you know, you're, you've got a nice social media presence and do you use influencers or is it just uh, word of mouth or how, no, what's your well, strategy there? I just think the product talk speaks for itself. Mm. You know, um, like if people were buying something, we'd always give them a cleansing balm sample. And you're nearly 90% sure they'll come back and buy the, the cleansing balm. Yeah. Um, now, the business is only four years, you know. Okay. Um, we're only up on our social media. I mean, if you go down to my start of my Instagram page, you'll see, you know, it's, it's very bitchy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're only getting there, like, with nice photography now. Like, it's taken that length. It's taken four years. But um, just people using the products and telling other people really about it. Um, we were in the window in Kilkenny, uh, Kilkenny on Nassau Street um, just before Christmas last. So that was good for us. Um, and then like Foxford and all them would give us a good shout out as well. OK. You know? okay. Uh, we're just going on to the Blarney website now. Our bedding is next week. So and that's really good because people can't feel the bedding and it's selling really well. So mm. we're really happy with that. And we always say, look, if you don't know what bamboo feels like, at least buy the eye mask or buy the pillowcases. Okay. And once they do that, they'll come back and buy the bedding, which is really yeah. good. Yeah. You know? Ireland is really a country of uh, the word of mouth, though, isn't it? You Absolutely. Know? Yeah, everybody yeah. tells, you know, and we you want know. to tell somebody the this, this, this new secret, you know. Yeah. Or you see something nice for something useful for the kitchen. Yeah, say, God, yeah. you know, you need to buy that. Like, so we'll, we'll yeah, we'll buy whatever what someone else is using, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, but I think it's the scent. I think mm -hmm. just people love the scent of the balm. And oh, yeah. yeah. When they see it in the body oil, they love the scent of the body oil. And Yeah. And I think that's really clever with sending out the little sample of the, the, face balm, the facial cleanser yeah. balm as well. Because I, I got, as I said, I got the diffuser um, about a year ago now and got the sample as well and was straight out to buy it. You yes, know, yeah. It just is really lovely. Like, yeah. 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 See, this is it. It's all yeah. about... And then maybe we'll change around now after a while and we'll start sending out little things at the ceremony when you buy a balm. You oh. know, we, we'll keep the interest going somehow. Yeah. Yeah, but people yeah, love yeah. a little sample. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody loves it's it. Something free. People love something free. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> okay, so listen, we're going to run on to our rapid fire questions and then we'll see what questions we have from the audience. Um, okay. So, uh, you ready for this? Yep. <laughs> Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Uh, best holiday ever? Uh, Morocco. Hmm. Your own favourite product? Fish, cleansing balm. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the best advice you ever got? Don't listen to too many people. People's mm -hmm. advice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Um, your favourite scent? Oh, um, uh, the Cam blend for the, for the diffuser. Okay. I love it. Yeah. What's your superpower? Staying awake at night. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely an owl, so not an arc. Oh. Uh, cotton or bamboo? Oh, bamboo. I know, I know that was a bit of a silly, a silly one. <laughs> and now when I was doing my research on you, I was, I was, I saw that you used to be a brunette. So blonde or brunette? Oh, blonde. Yeah, I've been every color. I've been red. I've been every color. But blonde. I keep going back to blonde. So yeah. Recommend the blonde. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the greatest moment in your business so far? Oh, winning an image award for my facial serum. Okay, very good. And like, what what value would you give to awards? Now going off this a bit now, but well, I I've won RSVP awards and stuff like that, but image is it's just a different category, different thing altogether. And I was told I'd never win an image award for at least five years, okay. and um, I won it. I won wow. my best facial serum. Wow. So. Um, yeah, don't be listening to people that can't do this or you can't do that. Of course you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You and do you think it's it's worthwhile entering awards, you know, just because it gives oh, you... Uh, yeah, 100%. Uh, mm -hmm. For me, it would be the like the RSVP awards are coming back up again. Now, they're very hard to win. They're not easy to win, believe yeah. me. Um, you have hundreds and hundreds of products. But for me, it would be an RSVP award or an image award. Um, so last year, I, for the image, I went to the Image Business Awards, and I came second. But I came joint second with Catherine Thomas, so oh. that was that was amazing. Wow. I didn't win, but to come joint second with Catherine Thomas is, yeah, yeah. you know, fantastic. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's amazing. 
I suppose it does give your your brand not an only only great PR, but yeah. great credibility as well. Like you know, people can see that you are up there with the rest of them. Yeah, it's nice to think I am. I have to pinch myself every now and again. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amazing, amazing story. Okay, back to our rapid fire. So, um, cake or cheese? Cake. <laughs> Chocolate and cake. Very important one. Uh, red or white? <laughs> uh, white. White. <laughs> <laughs> white vodka. If you're talking about drink. <laughs> Woman after my own heart. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll probably into the question. So let's see if anyone has mm. questions. Ask question me. Here, I want to give you a code for the website as well. Brilliant, fantastic. Yeah, we'll we'll um, we'll put that up here at the end. Yeah. Um, okay, so somebody's asking here. Um, Hobby was asking for guidance for a Valentine's gift. So having signed up for this, I said a selection of Joe Brown products would be great to get through the lockdown. A little self care. Okay. Yeah, so we have a special Valentine's Day box. Okay. Mm. What's still, in that? Joe? Um, we actually did a lovely Irish bar of chocolate. We did the body oil. Uh, the cleansing balm and the remover pads with uh, biodegradable roses. Um, so you could order, but you won't have it for Valentine's Day. Oh, okay, okay, right. You could you order it for yourself then, maybe. Yeah, or people can call to me and pick it up as well. We we offer that service, you know. Okay. And where are you based? I know you're in Carlo, but um, Hackestown, just okay. outside Hackestown. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, if you were to go back and talk to the Joe of year one of the business. What would you say to her to do differently? Good question. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's hard. I suppose, like, there's Joe Brown and then there's Joanne Brown. Okay. Um, so Joe Brown is more confident than Joanne Brown, if that makes sense, does it? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you get, I get giddy and I get excited. Uh, would I change anything? No, I suppose I wouldn't. I look back and grin, cringe on things I've done. <laughs> but you know what's got me where I am today? I think people like it because I'm just down to earth. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think that's people buy from people at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, my business is what it is. Um, I just mean, there's hundreds of things I would have changed with different products or different things or not. There's nothing specific though. I can't think. <laughs> yeah. I suppose like, you know, you, you, you've come a long way in four years, you know. Yeah. I yeah. that's down to hard work and as you said yourself determination yeah and yeah. Uh, you know working till 12 o'clock every night yeah you'll do things that you'll kind of go oh god what did i do that or what did i say that for but you know what you, no regrets you could say that every day about things you said you know couldn't yeah. you yeah absolutely yeah yeah. yeah yeah i don't think you can you can you can you can stand over what you've done anyway and and you know the fact that you've got a, such a sustainable brand as well that you can be yeah. proud of that as well yeah yeah um so other than your dad who inspired you to go out on your own um nobody myself mm. um well, my husband thought it was cracked anyway so <laughs> <laughs> but now he, now he works there 12 12 hours a day like okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. um i suppose you're giving up a full-time job mm. um which you are like and you know you're you're like i remember the first uh, my first 3000 bamboo tubes coming in like i had a baby under my arm and i hid him because <laughs> i thought people would think i was nuts you know um yeah my dad would be definitely because my dad mm -hmm. has built his own business from scratch and now like it, it, he employs like 30 people and you know it's but he's built it from scratch on his own mm -hmm. like he does garden bark so he started off with a hand sieve do you know what I mean? And now it's a massive machine that to be the size okay. of my house, you know. So, yeah, you have to start small and grow big. Yeah, my dad, definitely my dad. Yeah, yeah. most of us, all I, there's seven of us. So nearly, nearly all of us, we work for ourselves. Okay, oh, yeah. that's interesting, so, isn't it? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it, it is very brave, you know, to to leave behind a, a pensional job and, and, you know, go out there and, and on a wing and a prayer, really, you know. Uh, but I suppose, yeah. like, you know, what's the worst thing that could happen, really, is, you know, you yeah. go back to and find a job. Well, I, that, could, you know, I could just never work in a job that was, I suppose, just me, nine to five, that didn't yeah. mean anything to me at all. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, didn't yeah. push the buttons for me, you mm -hmm. know. And, OK, uh, more questions coming yeah. in here. Um, where do you source the bamboo? Yeah, we source yeah. the bamboo in China because it grows okay. in China. Um, so... 
there's nowhere in Ireland or there's nowhere anywhere you can source anything, even like glass bottles or anything like that. You can buy them in from Ireland. Now I buy all my ingredients from Ireland, but even if you buy them in from the UK, it it, it doesn't matter. They're always still going to come from China regardless. Um, and that's something that people don't understand as well. There's nowhere around that actually manufactures. Like we will buy all our packaging from Barry Packaging in Ireland. We'll, we'll use all Irish companies, you know, we'll use our printing company as Irish. But yeah, China was where we sourced, but we're working with the same company for years now. Okay. You know, and we've done our background checks and we're happy with them. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. And um, are there strict hygiene conditions for packaging the products? Oh God, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, everything is done, you know, there's a certain criteria, I suppose, you have to pass for every factory. So we have done all of that as well. Um, yeah, so everything is, you know, where your hair nesh and yeah, yeah. and, you know, it's like any other place you're manufacturing, so it has to be done properly. Okay, yeah. yeah. And like coming from a background where you knew nothing about this, like how did you learn all this stuff like to to, to set up your factory in this hygienic way? Uh, well, you have to. You have to have all this safety assessment done. Like all your products okay. have to be safety assessed. Okay. So all your products are bought to the UK. Okay. <laughs> and their safety assessment can take a month. It can take three months. You know, it's all dependent. But their safety assessed with cosmetic safety assessment people. We actually have another product that's gone now. So they'll come back and they'll say your ratio is wrong for essential oil or your what is this. And they look for every every ingredient has like loads of paperwork. Okay. So wow. it's, and there's 26 different allergens and essential oils as well. So if you ever look at an ingredient list and you'll see lindalool and all that at the end, that's the allergens and essential oils. So those allergens are very, very, you can't go over a certain amount of allergens. Okay. Okay. So that's just okay. all you, yeah. People don't realize that. So look at the next time you're looking at a cream or anything, you'll see Linda Lul or you'll see. So they're the allergens in essential oils. So it's very important that you can't go over. So you can't just mix essential oils together and hope for the best. It has to be a certain ratio. Okay. All right. So you are very much monitored in that respect. So. Oh God. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, so from Jenica, she says your determination is amazing. And how do you keep motivated? Uh, you kind of um, I don't know you, you see another company launching something you go oh, or <laughs> you know <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll see what's out there like we're, I'm trying to formulate now at the moment two new products so I'm trying to formulate a clay mask okay. now clay masks are very 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 hard to formulate because it's very hard to preserve a clay so now I've looked at a company in Italy to uh send me over different preservatives for preserving clay so like you know you're saying like I, I really want to launch something different I don't want just to go and launch like another oil or another you know we launched our serum as well like you know we used Jehovah oil we used we didn't use this oh grab some grapefruit and grab some sunflower now we have them in it mm. but we wanted it to be more special than that we wanted even primrose oil we wanted Jehovah oil we just didn't want to be oil and a few essential oils if that makes okay. sense so everything yeah. we do is research to the last you know because it has to be mm. you know and do you know what people will buy it and it's when they love it under skin they'll buy it again but people will buy products once to try but it's getting them to come back and continue and yeah to continue buying it you know yeah yeah and yet it is a very competitive market you know isn't it? oh you they'll know. bite you <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. They eat you for breakfast so they would yeah. <laughs> if they had a chance yeah yeah, yeah. not a choice out there like you know people you know but people will as you say come back if they love the product well i watch my competitors constantly of course yeah, i yeah. watch the people that sit beside in the shelves beside me mm. and i'll say well what have they got that i don't have or mm. why are why are they sitting beside me what's got why you know i'll always say what have they got that i don't have and yeah and why is that or or like I used to go around to shops and I'd say, okay, so what's your best seller skincare? What's your best selling serum? What's your best selling? I use, I say I wrecked our heads, but I, what's your best hand cream in the shop? And from there, then you, you knew what was the best in each shop and what was selling, yeah. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all about research. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 know. absolutely. But you just, yeah. it's, it's 24 hours a day, mm. 24 hours a day without fail, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. There's no easy road really, is there, to success? 
<laughs> not, not in your business. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. Uh, okay, we just close. Um, so, how many oils are available in the diffuser, Amy? Is asking. Oh yeah. So at the moment, I'm doing the sleep blend. Um, so we have the signature, we have the sleep, we have the calm, we have the breed, and we have the fresh. So we've got five. Okay. Yeah. So they're all different. I developed the five of them. So the sleep is all about. Yeah, I, I'm right beside it now. I shouldn't be. <laughs> but uh, we love the way that the colors change. So in a dark room, that's really nice. If I might try and turn off the lamp. But anyway, if the, if the, if the light was off now, this would all shine. You can, we can see colors. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the signature would be the best seller. And then the sleep. I love the calm. The calm is my favorite. Um, the fresh is very popular as well. They're all popular. Like the breed was really popular at the start of COVID. Oh my mm. God, we were selling bottles and bottles. So I make up the blend for each of them in a brown okay. amber bottle, big brown amber bottle. I go out, make up the blend. From there, I hand it over and then it's handed over and then it's poured into little bottles. And then those little bottles are labeled, screwed on and put into the packages. So it's all done manually. Wow. Really, you know. Wow. And do you envisage a time where this will become more automated or? Yeah, well, for the body oil, we had to be in a machine to put the labels on. Okay. Because now a machine as in the label machine, uh, we just couldn't get them on straight while we did. <laughs> so now we can kind of roll them on the machine. So it's good. Um, yeah. And we bought in a fill-in machine. So yeah, we're, it definitely made a difference. So we're looking at, I suppose, you'd be looking at different things, how to quicken the process, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Um, but like it's one machine at a time, maybe in another six months, I'll buy another machine. We'll, we'll just keep going the way we are. Um, it's hard to source it in the machine that you're looking for as well. You know, again, you're not going to be able to buy something in Ireland, okay. uh, but we we'll use the distributor in Ireland, you know. OK, yeah, you know? yeah. I suppose you nearly have to manufacture, design and manufacture your own machine nearly, would you? Because it's so specific to your. Yeah, some of them are very specific. Yeah, um, they're out there. They're expensive. Mm. Um, we bought our last machine in America, but mm -hmm. we paid a lot of duty and stuff on that in it as well. So yeah, slowly by slowly we'll we'll get another machine and another machine, and uh, we'll just keep going, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, more questions coming in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah. Joe is so refreshing and down to earth. I'm going on her site as soon as I can. <laughs> I love good things. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Lovely. Oh yeah, I'm going to give you the code. Um, use, you. um sorry, just use Fiona twenty. Fiona 20. Yeah. Very so simple. that code will get you a 20% discount. 20% discount. Yeah. discount on yeah, all not, uh, not on the bedding. Okay. Perfect. It's okay. Fiona 20. Yeah. Will get you all the discounts for all your products. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, I put that up on my social media afterwards as well. Yeah. Um, okay. We, 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 we've got more questions coming in. Are you okay? Yeah. 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 More questions? Okay. Um, okay, how do you how do you relax and not overthink things? I like having a I love a, a power nap. <laughs> well, I have a seven year old and she gets me up at uh, half seven every morning. Mm. Uh, she comes in to me, takes off my covers, and I've no choice but to go home. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, but you know, I'm kind of grateful in a way because uh, when you work for yourself you can kind of get I love my bed so you can get a little bit lazy you know yeah. um so she gets me up every morning so I am grateful for that but I do love a power nap like if she went out for a walk or something like that for half an hour I would do a power nap for half an hour um, it just refocuses everything yeah 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 well, and sometimes sometimes things can get so overwhelming like I'm like you, you can have a day where you wake up and go, oh, and then all of a sudden there's 10 things fired at you, a big order, some ingredient is missing, there's this, there's that, there's accounts to get in. And sometimes when it gets overpowering, you have to just stop altogether. Mm. And I tend to just fall asleep for 20, like I just go like that, 20 minute nap. And then when you wake up, everything just seems that little bit better. Yeah, 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 yeah. You but that, that is a gift to be able to do that, though. You, you do know that. Yeah, <laughs> so, I know. I'm lucky. I'm a yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm able to do that as well, actually. Well, I suppose you were saying about relaxing. Yeah. So I suppose I, what I tend to do now is maybe spend an extra five minutes in the shower, okay. uh, use my body scrub all over, and get out. And I always use my oil afterwards. So mm. just, you know, just an extra five minutes in the shower is not going to kill any of us. Um, I always make sure I love doing my own eyebrows. 
because I was a beautician as well. <laughs> <laughs> Stick an eye in there. So I love, I always make sure my eyebrows are tinted and I have some wax and I, I love that. And I always make sure I have my nails done. It's my first time I have to, to have no nail varnish. But um, yeah. yeah, or I find a little bit of tan sometimes just on my face and my neck just to feel alive. Yeah. But then there's days I go around in my pyjamas as well, which is completely not right, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at the moment now, I don't think anybody would be too yeah. hard on you for that now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's all about, I suppose, a little bit of me time and a little time bit. to myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, from Kay, um, what regulations do you have to comply with in Ireland? So technical Yeah, for, for doing cosmetics. Well, it's you, you've been it over to the UK. So... Um, you'll bring your products over to the UK and you'll get them safety assessed. So they'll tell you, I, I was just saying earlier, they'll tell you exactly what should or shouldn't be done or what needs to be added or, you know, they'll look at their label. It's very strict, you know, mm. and then you'll put your products on the European portal as well. So the European portal is where you, you'd put all your cosmetics onto. Okay. So any product you launch, you have to put it on the European portal. And it goes into an empty... I suppose thing for all the world you'll only hear back if there's something wrong you oh, know okay. you know and then you're you're, you're just abiding by all the standards of clean area and all that as well okay you know okay. a lot to learn if you're getting into this business isn't there no there's even more to learn than that believe mm, me I can imagine you're only tipping it off the, the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you know okay um, na- like even for doing a label for a product is a nightmare like okay. you have to have like like this, there's so much writing on this label, but everything on it, I need on it mm-hmm. uh, by law, like, you know, opening the ingredients, where it's manufactured, um, how to use it, the full ingredients list. And you're using the Inca as well. Like, so, you know, it's it's only the, the tip of the iceberg, like when you start doing something where you make a label. And then you forget something on the label or you have to, you know, it's, it's just everything takes so long. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then you're trying to design the label with all that writing. We don't have a box either for the body aisle. So you're trying to fit everything on one little label, you know. That bottle is beautiful, though. It doesn't really need its own box either. Though, does yeah, it? but it's the fact that you're trying to squeeze just everything squeeze on all into one that. label. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, from Jenica, how do you create a price point for your products? Yeah, well, look, if I was only selling on the website, um, you probably wouldn't be, uh, you'd be a little bit less. But when you're, uh, I suppose, creating a product, you have to take in the the shop margins straight away, Mm -hmm. you know, or if you're offering free shipping, which we do over 30 euros, you'll have to add a little bit of that in. Um, You're adding your ingredients you're adding, you know, you, you mean you're, you're adding up what ingredients cost per product. Or then you're adding in like maybe an extra euro for your insurance, um, for your diesel, for maybe an extra euro then for labor. Mm-hmm. You know, it's all these extra things that people do forget about when they're starting. Yeah. You know, yeah, and then. Forgetting to pay yourself as well. Yeah. Well. And then if you're supplying the bigger shops, most of them will pay postage. You know, okay. so you have to add in that as well. Um, and then you have to remember if you're doing a 20% discount code, which we often do, you have to add tag it as well. Like there's lots of stuff you had to have to add in. Like people think it's just the ingredients, but then it's the bottle as well. You know, mm-hmm. waste, you know, it, it, the list goes on for a long, long time when you're pricing something. Mm-hmm. Um, because the, the whole key is don't be a busy fool. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, they are quite reasonably priced, though. I have to. They say. are no, they are. Yeah, we we yeah. we're on we're on a tight margin. But uh, when we launched the body island, the body scrub, we wanted something accessible for people to buy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, so you're on a tight margin. Yeah, you're on mm-hmm. a tight margin. So it's volume then for you. It's volume, but then you're relying on your website sales. Okay. Yeah. You know, that's where you make the bigger margin. That's where you make the bigger margin. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. So buy off the website, everybody. <laughs> Okay, uh, Susan, um, really love what you're doing. It's amazing. What advice could you share about self-belief when you're building a brand? Oh, um, I think, you know, if someone's uh, asked me to talk about myself, I would probably be. But if they ask me to talk about Joe Brown, it's a different story altogether. Like, because I could talk about Joe Brown all day long. Um, 
yeah, it was even very hard when I tried to pick a name like for the business and I decided on Joe Brown and then I was like, God, what will I do? Like if my name is on every shelf in Ireland, like this was even before I launched, like, <laughs> but I had that already that I was going to be on every shelf in Ireland. Brilliant. But uh, self-belief, yeah, look at people will doubt you at the start, like anything. But once you believe that you have something, just go for it. Just mm -hmm. so what? Go for it. You know, yeah. I use 50 euros a week for the first two years to, to fund this, to buy in different ingredients. And I couldn't really go over 50 euros because I couldn't afford it. Okay. Um, so you'd buy another ingredient or you'd buy another essential oil or you'd, you know, um, it took two years. Um, yeah, and I didn't, the only, I wasn't able to buy myself anything, put it that way, which I wasn't. But now I look as being successful as I'm able to, if I see a nice top somewhere, I can walk in now and buy that. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's what, 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 or I needed a new bed and I was able to buy a new bed. So that's success to me. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, can buy yeah. something that I need, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. self-belief. Um, yeah, I'm more confident probably talking like this than I am if you met me in person. Okay. Uh, yeah. If that makes sense. And we're probably, we're all the same in a way, I suppose. I'm, mm. I'm quite shy. Um which probably doesn't seem like it here, but I'm quite quite. I like privacy as well. I don't like. Um, I like keeping to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, don't want anybody to know all of your business? Yeah, but mm. I think if you're like, if you love your product or you love your business, you'll talk about your business all day long. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you know? so. For you, I guess it, it was was the belief in the product. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I, then yeah. it just gets more challenging. You see, people like like one company copied me completely. They, they copied my BAM and everything like you know mm -hmm. and you know what that made me even stronger again like yeah uh, they copied the tub the whole shebang I know you know? I know I just it, that's what that's what happens when you're successful though you know, but, and you know it makes you oh but yeah. it makes you more determined absolutely yeah yeah you yeah. know because you've worked so hard for this brand it's like my baby really yeah yeah you know, you know the feeling yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah. So just go for it. I, I can't remember who asked that question yet. Um, okay. Listen, we're running up to the hour now. So this will be the last question. There's yeah, loads yeah. coming in saying how oh. amazing you are. They can't believe your passion and uh, your energy, you. your can do attitude. Um, <laughs> your energy and can do you. attitude is just what self employed women need at the moment from Fiona. Um, Thank you. So. Uh, from from Deirdre, uh, from inception to first product on the shelf, what was the time frame? Yeah, first product on the shelf. Um, so we had launched in uh, June in 2016 and we got into the local health food store four weeks after. Oh, so, oh, wow. But from the start to it was two years, two years. Yeah, okay. I yeah. could have probably done it quicker as well, but that we were going down the bamboo route and all that and... Um, it was something that people hadn't seen before and I suppose confidence I maybe if I had more confidence we would have launched in a year you know um yeah, who's to know, yeah. It, was, it was a dark I didn't know what I was just going to be selling at markets local markets I didn't know no I dreamt of being in every airport in the world and I still do mm -hmm. um but then I said maybe we'll just sell at markets yeah but, yeah you know, the more you research and the more you look at stuff and the more determined you get, it's determination. That's yeah. what it is, determination. If you believe you're going to do something, you'll do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I just think like, you know, the brands I sit beside, like next to me in Kilkenny and Blarney and Meadows and Burn, like, I mean, they're massive brands. <laughs> like, they're massive. They're doing it years, like, they're the Max Benjamins and the Voyas and all that. And they are me sitting right beside them. I know. Um, yeah. That must yeah. be an amazing feeling, is it, you know, to be up oh, there? Oh, it is. And I suppose I never take time out to go, wow. <laughs> or I never take time out. Like when you ask me to do a Zoom, like I often wonder, why does anybody want to talk to me? <laughs> amazing story. You amazing. know, you know, I'm, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, you're uh, very modest. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but... <laughs> Very down to earth. Listen, thank Joe, thank you so much for coming here today and telling us your story. It's yeah, you're welcome. Very thank inspirational you. on this dark, horrible morning. And yeah, uh, it's I, think, I yeah. I don't think we're going to get to snow now anyway. I think it's going to snow tonight, and that's it then. 
I don't, well, I'm in Clonakilty now and I think, oh, we're going to get it rain, so. Oh. The snow would be nice, it? wouldn't it? A bit of a distraction. Yeah, just one bit of snow, one day, yeah, just for the yeah. kids. It'd be lovely. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you know. Okay, listen, Jill, thanks so Thank much you. for giving us your time. We know you're a very busy lady and um, that was brilliant. So Fiona20 is the um, the code to get your 20% discount and um, I want you to just pick a number between, we had 431 entries for the, um, the prize that you offered, which was the diffuser with the four oils. Wow. So number between 431. I'll find out what number. What uh, 252. 252. I look on Instagram now and see. Yeah, excellent. Lucky winner. Thank and, you so much. Uh, just to let everybody know that we have Louise Buckley on from um, Kinsale Health. She's a business mentor and um, owner, and she's going to show us how to use Canva. So it's going to be an hour in Instagram. Oh. That would be good. How you can use Canva to create your images. Um, so, so I'll be emailing you all about that anyway. So listen, again, thank you. Angel, I'm going to get onto your website straight away and order a load of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'd be interested in that Canva as well, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll yeah. put you on the emailing list. So perfect. All right. Thank you. Listen, thanks a million, Joe. Okay. And very best of luck in the future. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Bye. Good luck. Bye.